While I did want to be able to ride with the panels on the bike, they are rather bulky and it does make getting on and off rather difficult. Well, a little bit of electronic knowledge is, uh, is helpful, but this was not really difficult to wire up. Uh, I've got bought the panels and the meter on, uh, on Amazon, and I'll leave a link for it in the description. And I've got it fused in a couple of places just to be on the safe side. Um, the two panels cost me about $100, and the, I think the meter was something like uh, $11 but the wiring for the meter is right on it so you really can't go wrong well actually you can it's easy to get mixed up I have created a schematic and I'll leave my email address in the description and I'll send you a JPEG if you ask for one I prefer to uh, charge the battery um, at home off the bicycle uh, when I get home and uh, just you know, take the battery off and plug it into the um, solar panel and put it in the sunshine and usually charges up and plenty of time, plenty of sunlight for the day. And I was concerned when I first did this that uh, un the, the, the panel is unregulated voltage. Um, so I was concerned about these batteries that they might be fussy about the way they charge. But it's worked out all right. I've uh, I had it for over over a year and a thousand miles now, and it's uh, doesn't seem to have harmed the battery at all. Works fine. And, uh, but take personal responsibility, though. This uh, may void the warranty, so be aware of that. Just um, if there is a problem with the battery. I was not able to find a, a proper charge controller, although I keep looking, but there's none that's uh, actually small enough. I did find a charge controller, which I'll talk about here in a minute, but it uh, only works when in a stationary position. If, um, if you get uh, shaded by any trees or a cloud or something, it takes about two full minutes before it comes back up to charge, so it's not great for um, mobile operation. Now, mounting it to the bike is a bit awkward. I have, there are already some uh, drilled and tapped holes in the, in the rack back here. So I bought some long screws and just cut off the tops. So the studs are sticking out. Okay, now it's mounted on the bike, and you can see you can still get the panniers by lifting it up, and it simply folds down and secure. And then with the extra, the extra cord, I just wrap it around the center piece and plug it in. Turn the bike on, and I'm all set to go. I'll be right back. So what I have done is I uh I have a large battery bank in the cellar of our house which I and about 400 watts of photovoltaics on the roof and I either charge up this battery bank or I can throw a switch and the power goes to a grid tie inverter but since it's 12 volt system that's lower than the output voltage needs to be so that'll work but here's the problem every time 
I'd go into a shadow or something. It'd be like throwing the switch here. Uh, just a second. And it takes quite a while before it starts putting out. You see the amperage there in the watts. It's not doing anything yet. It's slowly ramping up the voltage. Now it's finally starting to put out just a little bit. The top voltage air is the input voltage from the batteries, which would be from the from the solar cells. And here is the bike battery being charged off it now. You see it still hasn't stabilized. It takes quite a while. So every time you you get a shadow cast across your panels, it has to go through this. And now it's ramping up. It is nice, other than the fact that I can't take it with me on the bike. It just doesn't make any sense. So there you go. And it's, uh, just do a search for that up there, that number up there, and that down there. And you can find one of these. I think it was about $50. Well, there you go.